the other members of the administration, graduate students and faculty to address the knowledge problem of our very low levels of stipends, which are damaging programs and individual scholarly careers. There were two remarkable things about this resolution. The first thing was the Senate was unanimous in supporting it. The second thing was you never responded. Uh, I would like to ask you, will you please commit today to joining your faculty and graduate student colleagues next fall with administration representation on the Living Stipend Solution Committee? The problem is serious, it hasn't gone away, and we need to get to work. So, uh, you know, it's not joining a committee, but what actions have happened since then? We should look at that. It's not me joining a different group or committee. The graduate stipend has been increased, and actually, Provost announced a little bit uh, a couple of months ago, Scott, that uh, we're increasing again next fall. We'll continue to evaluate and continue to make sure that we look at this stipend every year. That's what we'll do. I mean, joining your group or not is not really what, what I do. So can I ask you again, you are refusing to join the Living uh, Stipend Solutions that, Committee? I'm saying that I'm committing to look at this scholarship every year to look at what we need to do, and the provost is working on that. That's what I'm saying. I would like to point out one thing, or actually two things. First of all, the $3,000 increase in the base level stipend will leave us, given inflation, $700 below what it was in 2020. And that amount will be $13,781 below, oh sorry, only $10,000 below the poverty level estimated in Western New York. It's doing damage. We need to work together. I think you might be able to learn some things in talking to your graduate student and uh, faculty colleagues about just what it means. You're now telling people applying to UB that it will be possible for them to live on $18,600 a year. This isn't true, as I think both you and I know. Thank you for your comments. One point of clarification as well is that this, this raise only applies to fully funded PhD students and not master's students who also still pay pay to work fees. Any, any other comments here? I, I, would like to, I, I would like to, to suggest that there might be a connection between this question about this should, I'm sorry, but uh, you have to be recognized by oh, the chair I, to I speak. apologize. Please. Yes, uh, my name is. Please. Oh, you haven't been recognized oh, okay. by the chair. Excuse me. Do we have, any, faculty? Other, so do we have any? Do we have any other faculty concerns or issues or questions of the president? Yes. There's a microphone. Said. Let the students talk, please. I would like to say, I would like to listen to the talk. Okay, we, in due time. Do we have any other faculty concerns? Yes. Barbara, put the microphone over. I simply would like to say that I think it would be beneficial. Uh, to have faculty and graduate student uh, input in trying to address uh, the, the issue that, that Professor Alston brought up. Because it is true that um, steps have been taken and, and the stipend has been uh, increased over the years, and this is certainly great, uh, but at least uh, in, in my college, for instance, this was done at the expense of a significant cut in the number of graduate students, 30%, close to 30%. And so I wonder, I mean, maybe if we, if we get to work, if we, if we all contribute to the discussion, maybe we can find uh, a better solution to the problem. Thank you, Barbara. Um, the chair of the faculty senate will recognize for three minutes one member of the uh, student delegation that is present here. Please use the microphone. We need your, we need your name. And Hi, my name is Nathaniel Dixon. I work in the English department. Uh, thank you, faculty members, for your support, and thank you, President Jarathi, for your time. 
Um, I just wanted to draw attention to the fact that uh, a great number of the graduate students working at the lowest rate are responsible for training students to ethically engage with research and teaching them how to write and how to critically evalu evaluate and discuss uh, research in a university context, right? Um, we have smaller classes than most of their other classes. I write an outsized proportion of recommendation letters uh, because of that, and we have a relationship with them very early on. So if there is a concern about the devaluation of education in response to the presence of things like AI uh, text generation, um, perhaps investing in the people who are spending the most time with undergraduate students and building those relationships and looking at their work will be a really good way to address that and show that the university uh, values those critical thinking skills. Right? Um, I broke that, the, the text checker, there's a couple of them, I broke it in 30 seconds. All I had to do was tell it to sound less like an AI. Um, the only way that isn't gonna happen is if they have Rapport and they have a relationship and we're taking people who are living on the absolute edge of the ability to pay rent. I won't tell you what my student loans are, they're obscene. Um, and I've overstayed as a result of financial distress. Um, I love teaching, and I wanna be here, but I don't wanna be paid that. Um, and I, don't, I don't think anybody should. So um, thank you for your time. I hope you will consider just meeting, you know, it's just, I, I love assigning interview essays. <laughs> I'm gonna be very quick, I know I have about one minute left, uh, because it invites students to listen to someone else's experience before responding to it. Right? And that's a very different approach than the pros and cons list that they're given when they're younger. Um, and that sort of uh, involves picking what, whatever floats at the top of the database, right? So like sitting down and having this conversation with uh, your faculty and your graduate students, I think will be a really meaningful way of building that relationship and building trust and uh, building mutual understanding. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. faculty members that would like to address the president at this time. Thank you. Thank you very, thank much. You very much. And thank you, President Trapati, for your, for your comments and concerns.